Mini Budget Announcements September 2022 National Insurance Contributions, NICS From the 6th of November 2022, or as soon as payroll systems can be changed, if later. Reverse the 1.25% increase in NICS rates and cancel the health and social care levy. Employee rates will return to 12% and 2%, with an employer's rate of 13.8%. The self-employed rate will return to 9% and 2%. Dividend tax. From the 6th of April 2023. The 1.25% increase in the dividend rates across all earning brackets is to be reversed. Income tax. From the 6th of April 2023. The basic rate of tax is reduced from 20% to 19%. The additional rate of income tax of 45% is removed, meaning that the top rate of tax is 40%. The additional rate of tax on dividends will also be removed. Stamp Duty Land Tax, SDLT. From midnight on the 23rd of September 2023, for the purchase of residential property in England and Northern Ireland. The residential nil rate threshold increases from £125,000 to £250.00. The nil rate threshold for first-time buyers' relief increases from £300,000 to £425,000. The maximum amount that an individual is able to pay for a home while remaining eligible for first-time buyer's relief, increases from £500,000 to £625,000. Corporation Tax The planned increase in corporation tax from 19% to 25% due to start in April 2023 is reversed. Annual Investment Allowance, Capital Allowance the planned reduction in the AIA limit to £200,000 from 1 April 2023 will be scrapped. The AIA limit to be permanently set at £1 million. IR35 and off payroll working. From 6 April 2023. The 2017 and 2021 reforms to off payroll working in the public and private sectors are reversed. Workers providing their services via an intermediary will themselves, rather than their employers, be responsible for determining their employment status and paying the correct tax and national insurance contributions. Seed Enterprise Investment Scheme, Cease. From April 2023. Companies will be able to raise up to £250,000 of Cease investment, up from the current limit of £150,000. The gross asset limit will be increased from £200,000 to £350,000, and the trading time limit from 2 to 3 years. The individual annual investor limit of £100,000 will be doubled to £200,000. New investment zones across the UK. Zones are to be set up in 38 local authority areas in England plus areas to be designated in Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. They will have relaxed planning controls to release more land for both housing and commercial development. Businesses setting up in these zones will benefit from tax breaks including Stamp Duty Land Tax, SDLT, 100% business rates relief, enhanced capital allowances for plant and machinery and enhanced structures and buildings allowance rate and a zero rate of employers mix for new employees. Energy, non-domestic and business users. The Energy Bill Support Scheme will provide support for business for a six-month period. The scheme will be reviewed after three months. There is the possibility of extension of the scheme for certain business after six months. Please contact us to discuss how this affects you. Info at accountancyplace.co.uk